Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems on projectile motion involving objects that have been dropped from rest. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that in an experiment to find the height of a classroom, a football is dropped out of the window. If it takes 1.25 seconds for the football to hit the ground, calculate the height of the classroom. Well, remember for any question on projectile motion, we want to use SUVAT. And in this case, because we're only dealing with an object moving vertically, we're going to consider the vertical motion of the projectile. So it's SUVAT for the vertical motion. So writing down vertical to show that this is for the vertical motion, we can then write down SUVAT. So we don't know what S is, the displacement, because that is the height of the classroom that we're trying to find. We know the initial velocity is going to be 0 meters per second because it's dropped from rest. We don't know what the final velocity is. We know the acceleration is going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared if we define upwards to be positive and downwards to be negative in this example. And lastly, the time is 1.25 seconds, which we're told in the question. We can then put a star next to the S because that's the one we're trying to find. And therefore, we want to choose the equation of motion which does not have V in it. So we're going to use S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And substituting in our numbers now, we get 0 times 1.25 plus a half times minus 9.8 times 1.25 squared. And notice that this is just going to disappear because we've got zero times something. And simplifying this, we get minus 7.7 .7 meters. Question two says that a student carries out an experiment with a tennis ball and a motion sensor connected to a laptop. The ball is released from rest below the sensor, which is a height of 1.2 meters above the ground. Calculate the time taken for the ball to reach the ground. So again, because it's an object dropped from rest, we're going to use the vertical motion of the projectile and we're going to write down SUVAT. So for the vertical motion, we've got a displacement S of minus 1.2 meters. The reason I've used negative here is if we define upwards to be positive and downwards to be negative, the ball is going to be traveling down the way. So it's going to have a negative displacement. Our initial velocity, remember, is zero meters per second, just like before, because it's an object dropped from rest. Our final velocity, V, is unknown. Our acceleration, A, is minus 9.8 meters per second squared, again because we're defining downwards to be negative. And lastly, the time is the one that we're trying to find, so I'm going to put a star next to that one. So again, because we don't know what V is, we want to choose the equation of motion which does not have V in it. So we're going to use S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Substituting in the numbers, we get minus 1.2 equals 0 times T plus a half times minus 9.8 times t squared. And again, this term is going to disappear because we've got zero times t. And if we simplify both sides by timesing both sides by two, first of all, to get rid of this fraction, and then we can divide both sides by minus 9.8, we end up with t squared equals 0 0.24. The reason we've now got a positive value is because we had a negative on that side and a negative on that side. So they're going to cancel out. And lastly, we need to take the square root of both sides. So we get t equals 0 0.5 seconds. That's all from me folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.